What's going to guys, wanted to hop in the video real quick to show you all these new shirts that we just came out. We got LMF on the front and on the back. We got loud, modified, fast with the American flag. Gonna have these for sale, limited quantity, $30 cash app. I'll have the QR code right here. Uh, we're gonna have some more in the future. Sizes are large and extra large right now. And uh, yeah, if you wanna support the channel, be sure to send 30 bucks with your full shipping address. What size you want, we'll get it shipped out to you. Peace. Well, what do I even say? I'm just as surprised to be filming this as you are to probably be watching it because I mean, y'all saw the video about this truck last week. I decided I wasn't gonna buy it, right? I decided to let it go, to move on, not to purchase it. I ended up coming home empty-handed without the truck, right? And I explained to y'all the reasons why. For the money, I just didn't feel like making the move on it. It was a very solid truck overall with a lot of potential in my opinion, but I just didn't feel like forking out the money that they were wanting to, you know, wanting for it, which in today's truck market was probably a pretty fair normal price, but price for the actual truck is still overpriced, right? But here we are a week and a half later and they still haven't sold it. So I sent them a message and I said, hey, would you take X amount for it? I named off the issues that I know that it had or has and that are going to need to be replaced. And to my surprise, he sent back, sure. With that being said, I'll catch up with y'all in a few hours. Might be buying a truck today. Shout out to the dirty road tripping truck. The old Tundy, clocking in at a whopping 298,000 miles. Ain't had the oil changed. Just living its best life on the way. All right, boys. Well, here we are, finally back in it after driving for two hours. For the this is the third time. Then we'll make the trip home for the fourth time. So, uh, quite a few hours accumulated on the road. Um, but we're here. Brakes are garbage, just like they were before. Windshield's making noise, just like it was before. Um, everything else seems fine. Uh, I haven't checked it out. I just hopped in it. And you know what? I don't know what all that's running the door. Um, 193 miles. I think that's exactly what it was before. Oil pressure's good. I think everything's about the same. So. Yeah, if you're new and you haven't seen this, you didn't see the other video, I'll show you the truck in just a second and we'll go over it. But uh, I gotta quickly drive up here, hop out, get the sunroof unsealed, which I'll explain to that if you're unaware of what that problem is. I'll show you all that in a second anyways. All right, freaking finally got all the garbage peeled off the sunroof. It's still not sliding back good because it's got so much crap gunked in there, which absolutely sucks. But yeah, here she is for anyone new. 2007 SLT sunroof super nice interior oh uh, well that's new that's lovely love that uh, but yeah other than like the bubbles some little scratches this thing on the tailgate uh, she's pretty daggum clean fender flared you know 07 4x4 SLT loaded full wheel drive works great ice cold AC 190k miles that's her she's red we're getting her i guess we've got a working sunroof i've got to get it to fully lay back but i just wanted to make sure it at least opened so yeah it comes back a little bit we got to do a ton of cleaning and get all this crap off for it to work perfect but yeah i guess we're going to buy her all right ladies and gentlemen we have purchased a vehicle docs what do you think like it keep left onto state route 69 what do you think about the red he just woke up from his nap. Maybe he slept all the way up here. Um, what do you think about the sunroof? Which the sunroof? I found a little broken miles. part already. You ready to go to school in it? Yeah. Do you think they'll be surprised? They won't recognize us. <laughs> you think they'll like the red truck? Uh, pretty easy purchase from the people. We'll figure it out. We'll think of something. We gotta, we gotta see what everybody on YouTube wants to wants us to do right yeah we'll see what they want we're driving good we're almost out of gas but uh other than that we're about to make the two hour trek home i guess i'll catch up with y'all probably at the farm we'll give this thing a spit shine and really go over it good <laughs> cruising 76 no issues sunroof's cracked open so we got a lot of wind noise more than the windshield itself but Making good time, doing 
all good. She is home at the farm. Did perfectly good. Ran 80 miles an hour. Whole time going home. We'll inspect her more in the next following couple days, which will be just the next thing for y'all. Start taking care of some things like the sunroof, get that all cleaned up, figure out what parts exactly we need. And uh, I don't know. <laughs> We're gonna just start by getting it all cleaned up and you know inspecting everything real good. And then we'll go from there on trying to decide what route we wanna go with these trucks. But overall, I'm stoked. I'm glad we ended up getting the truck. So far, so good. Hope y'all are excited as I am. See y'all in just a second in the daylight. Well, while Knox rips his foiler for a minute, we need to go talk about the red truck. All right, guys, so let's talk about this debacle. So up until this point right now, I had not posted the video showing y'all that I went and looked at this truck and didn't buy it because I was trying to be respectful. I was trying not to, you know, put out, oh, I went and looked at this truck and it had this amount of issues and I decided not to get it and kind of influence potentially one of y'all that were looking to buy it. Um, and then the little auto place that I bought it from getting mad at me or something like that. Just trying to play it safe and be respectful, right? So I wasn't going to post it. And then all of this happened, ended up buying it. And then last night I posted the video where I went and looked at it and I knew it was going to go two ways. It was either going to go, you really should have bought that truck or you really be glad you didn't buy that thing because it's a piece of junk. Now, I feel like either way is exaggerated because one, people want to be like, oh no, we love Chomper. That thing was junk. You don't want that, right? Or two, uh, just negative people trying to say that I should have done something that I didn't do, which yes, there was both. And there were some in the middle saying, it was a nice truck, but you probably made the right decision, which is fine. Now, with that being said, um, I, I'm still excited, dude. I've always wanted a red truck. We'll talk more about what we're going to do with this and Chomper in a video when I get them together. I uh, only got a couple minutes right now while he's riding his four-wheeler before we go to school. Um, oh, look at the turkeys over there. Anyways, um, <laughs> yeah, so I went and got the truck without having posted the video because I was trying to wait until they sold the truck to post it because I was trying to be respectful, right? But y'all saw how that turned out. Um, so, yeah, now I'm aware of y'all's thoughts and opinions in the comment section, which who knows how y'all react once you see how see that I got the truck, but um yeah, either way, uh, it's good because my new truck is taking so long to get in that I'm starting to get some parts in that I need Chomper down for. So uh, this can at least be the new daily while we're working on Chomper. And I do want to do some things to it, have fun with it. At the end of the day, I can always put it back to stock and then sell it down the road once we, you know, make a bunch of videos fixing it and having fun with it and all that kind of jazz. But like I said, we're going to have fun with it for now. For starters, we're going to check and see what the name is because Chomper's name was originally Nancy and that was terrible. So we stuck with Chomper. Um, but let's see what this one is. And if it doesn't have a good name, then y'all can, you know, help name it in this video. All right, let's see what we got. We got no sticker. This is 822. Oh, here we go. Now this says second pewter, 82206. So this is the original, but it doesn't have a name on it for some reason. That's bizarre. I guess leave us some names in the comment section. So like I said, I don't have much time with the truck this morning to do some of the things that I wanted to, but I figured I'd get this video out for y'all now that I have seen the uh, <laughs> comment section and whatnot, which this is a 07, 193,000 miles, two owner, clean title, and in my opinion, pretty good shape. I mean, it's pretty straight. All the issues that I was naming out that the truck has is very common in all of these trucks. And I mean, 14, 15 year old truck, you're going to have these issues. So I like to point out all of those things in my videos because obviously we're starting here you want to see where we start, and then you get to see where we finish if we do keep this truck or whatever we do with it, just like Chomper. Now, I wasn't super critical on Chomper. Chomper has plenty of other exterior flaws that I didn't show in the original video on it, but I'm sure you all have seen in plenty of other videos because I'm not trying to hide anything, of course. But, um, yeah, getting a little rambly. I've just been crawling around in the truck looking it over, seeing if I missed anything or anything pops out now that I'm not at the car lot. But, uh, yeah, everything seems about like I was thinking it was, you know. I honestly don't think I gave the truck's interior as much credit as I should have in the video um, where I didn't buy it because it's extremely clean in here. Like for an 07, it really doesn't get any more clean than this. Basically the dirtiest part is that right there. <laughs> um, headliner of course is not perfect, but you know, it's very common. So 
yeah i mean interior wise all this jazz it's it's freaking sick it's awesome now let me think outside wise did i find anything else i did notice that this guy tailgate's a little jank whatever um Yeah, these wheels, don't know about them. They, I don't even know what this come out. Did these come, I don't think these came stock on this. This looks like a newer body stock. Um, things that are sticking out. Oh, the sunroof. Oh, let's talk about this. This thing is straight up, so I'm sure I looked awkward in the video. It's like sitting straight up. We gotta find the fuse for that or fix this or, yeah, we gotta, we gotta fix that soon. And I did notice this does not work because I'm sure this is linked with that, so that doesn't work. Uh, the sunroof. This is the little arm that is broken, which I've been kind of researching and it's definitely not the easiest thing to find. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna have to buy the whole assembly. I hope we don't because that's gonna be um, expensive, real expensive, like in comparison to the truck. This part, if you have to buy this whole assembly, it's very expensive. The glass is $200 with a seal. If you have to buy the whole frame and everything, I think it was like 700 bucks, which is ridiculous, but I'm hoping uh, we can find some parts for it and just fix that arm. Um, got some parts from Chomper that I want to throw on here. I honestly think the first video with this, I'm going to make it look a lot different before we even get into fixing things. And, you know, we want to do some maintenance on it and all that jazz. But, uh, yeah, uh, I'll honestly just wait and post this video before I do anything and see y'all's reaction to the truck. Um, like I said, we'll talk more about if I would want to keep this truck, sell it, whatever I want to do with it in the video with chomper which is coming up and i might do that this weekend might not be able to but uh yeah either way um yeah knocks to run up here we got to get out of here we're running late so with that being said hopefully you did enjoy hopefully you understand <laughs> it's youtube live sometimes you don't get to post videos until you um until it's too late but anyways i'm excited got a red truck looks sick got a lot of potential we'll see what we end up doing with it see you on the next video